big crowd at Lords buzzed with the news that Australia had lost the toss. So Harvey led the tourists onto the field. England opened with Subaru, left, and Puller. Against the fast bowlers, Subaru was soon off the mark. But sharp-sighted onlookers detected a certain loudliness in the wicket and predicted a difficult time for the batsman. Davidson was evidently back in form. Fuller was uncomfortable. He soon gave an easy chance to Burge, but luckily for him, the fieldsman dropped it. However, that near success inspired Davidson. He clean bowled Fuller with only 26 on the ball. Mackenzie was hostile at the other end, but Dexter gave Subaru good support and the score mounted steadily. Misson came on to bowl. He didn't trouble Subaru, but near the interval, that great batsman fell to Mackay. Dexter was out too. Presented to the Queen were first the Australians. Richie Benno introduced the Vice-Captain Neil Harvey and the rest of the team. Over to England. Colin Cowdery presented Peter May and his other teammates. Cowdery and May were now together and the crowd hoped for a big stand, especially as the captain is in great form just now. At the other end, May got off to a good start. But there was no stopping Davidson. And what a tonic for Australia when he got May caught behind the wicket. Things looked bad for England, 111 for four. Four runs later, Davidson struck again. This time he got Barrington caught by Mackay. Big-hearted Freddie Truman was undaunted and collected 25 before he too fell victim to the irresistible Davidson. England all out for a meagre 206. Statham began by bowling in great style against Laurie. Truman also was in good form. Laurie's partner was MacDonald. Statham clean bowled him, 1-4-5. A truly exciting day's cricket.